The island of Hawaii is home to Kilauea Volcano, the most active volcano on Earth. The lava flows from Kilauea are derived from the Earth's mantle, approximately 60 kilometers below the surface. Lava flowing out of the Earth and into the sea is the process that formed the Hawaiian Islands out of the great depths of the Pacific Ocean and which continues to enlarge the Big Island today. Madam Pele is the Hawaiian volcano goddess, and she is perhaps at her most spectacular when she sends her fiery red lava into the ocean. This film records the hidden beauty and drama of this underwater encounter, where Pele meets the sea. The latest phase of Kilauea's periodic eruptions started in January of 1983, when towering fountains of molten lava built this cinder cone, Pu'u O'o. After three years of activity, the fountain abruptly stopped, but not before Pu'u O'o had grown to a height of 130 meters. Since that time, the flow of lava to Pu'u O'o has continued, only now the lava travels in buried tubes to the lava lake Kupayanaha, which acts as a reservoir for the lava before it heads down the mountain. This is the Lava Lake Kupayanaha. Its size varies greatly from month to month, as does the amount of molten lava it contains. Sometimes there is enough lava to fill and overflow its steep walls. On this day, however, the surface of the lava is quite low and allows a good look at the fiery, bubbly molten rock as it flows across Kupayanaha towards the two outlets. These outlets supply buried lava tubes that in turn feed the lava flows further down the mountain. Magnetic gas is also released at Kupayanaha. The gas can be seen as it churns the surface of the lava lake into fiery fountains, and also as it bubbles gently to the surface. At night, Kupayanaha puts on a particularly impressive display as the incandescent lava reveals its true intensity and color, undiminished by the bright Hawaiian sunlight. Burning gases can be seen at the mouths of the lava tubes. The color of the flames is due to the release of volatile elements in the lava that glow brightly when heated to high temperatures. The lava tubes from Kupayanaha send molten rock down to the surface lava flows along the side of the mountain and to the shoreline and underwater lava flows at the coast. 
large billowing clouds of steam make the shoreline lava flows easy to locate. The steam plume at the shore results from the boiling of seawater. This steam has very high concentrations of hydrochloric acid, as opposed to the high concentrations of sulfuric acid found in the plume from Pu'u'u'u. Both acid plumes, however, can leave large areas of the island blanketed in layers of hazy volcanic smog. Floating rocks are frequently seen on the water in front of the shoreline lava flows. They form from the spattering that occurs when the molten lava touches the water. The resulting porous rocks are hot enough that seawater entering them is instantly converted to steam, which keeps the rocks buoyant. The floating rocks will sizzle and spin on the water for several minutes until they cool and eventually sink to the seafloor. As divers swim down to the underwater lava flows, they frequently must deal with murky water filled with small particles of volcanic glass. Eventually, the divers reach clear water and come face to face with the underwater volcanic activity. Pillow 
of the salts have frequently observed that these lava flows, just as they have been in other sites of underwater volcanoes. Some of the salts form from relatively slow lava flows. This allows the overlying seawater to rapidly cool the molten lava, which causes the surface crust to quickly form, giving the resulting rock its distinctive pillow shape. Large numbers of gas bubbles are released from the pillow of salts while they form. These bubbles are distinctive in that they contain relatively high levels of explosive hydrogen gas, which is formed by the chemical reaction of seawater with the hot lava. Large amounts of steam are also released due to the boiling of seawater in contact with the lava. The steam, however, travels only a few centimeters from the lava before it is condensed by the cooling effect of the surrounding seawater. Steady stream of sounds can be heard underwater. Some are the results of the fracturing of the cool crust and the explosion of solidified pillows. Other, loud explosions, result from the combustion of hydrogen trapped under the cooled outer skin of the lava flows. Some of the pillows observed in Kilauea are exceptionally fluid. There appears to be a wide range of pillow lava possible, ranging from viscous, blocky flows to fast-moving, highly fluid flows such as these. 